We're live right now with a look at Lakewood Church in Southwest Houston. And tonight, police say they searched for a motive and it continues. But more pieces of the puzzle are now starting to come together. In fact, police have identified the shooter as Genesee Moreno, who sometimes used the alias Jeffrey Escalante. She had a documented criminal history and police say she had known mental health problems. Her seven-year-old son was shot during a gun battle with officers and tonight, a woman who identified herself as the boy's grandmother posted that he took a bullet to the brain. Right now, he's fighting for his life. Officials say Moreno used an AR-15 in the attack and acted alone. They say she got into the church after confronting a security guard and opened fire inside the hall. Two officers fatally shot her. Now, a home connected to Moreno in Conroe was raided overnight. And now neighbors there are detailing a history of disturbing behavior going back years. ABC 13's Tom Abrams is live outside that home right now. But we want to begin live with Shannon Ryan at Lakewood Church with some insight from those who knew her. Shannon? Well, they tell us she had recently wrapped a contentious divorce and custody battle that her former mother-in-law is actually a rabbi, which they believe may have motivated some of the anti-Semitism she's accused of. Still, they don't believe that's what prompted the shooting. Instead, they're blaming this all on mental illness. With two rifles and her seven-year-old son in tow, 36-year-old Janice Moreno opened fire on Pastor Joel Osteen's mega church Sunday. Moreno was killed, her son shot in the head, and a security guard wounded in the shootout that followed. I have a feeling that Connie Eicher believes it could have all been prevented. It's a tragedy that should have never been able to happen. Eicher is friends with Moreno's ex-husband's family. The couple and their son even stayed at her Belair home briefly in 2019, months before filing for divorce. My thoughts um, were that she was, she was very mentally disturbed. Divorce documents obtained by ABC 13 indicate Moreno had a history of mental illness and show both she and her ex-husband accused one another of abuse. The bottom line is anybody who has psychiatric problems who threatens other people shouldn't be allowed to, to carry things like that out. Law enforcement tell ABC 13 one of Moreno's guns had Palestine written on it and that they found anti-Semitic writings. Iker says Moreno's former mother-in-law is a rabbi. Is that where some of the anti-Semitism comes from, you think? Yeah. In a Facebook post, Moreno's ex-mother-in-law wrote, this has nothing to do with Judaism or Islam. Instead, blaming the attack on mental illness. Divorce documents show both she and Iker worked to intervene in the couple's custody battle which her son, a registered sex offender, first won in Harris County before losing to Moreno in Montgomery County. The system failed her, yeah. And yeah, the system failed the little boy too. Moreno's former mother-in-law wrote on Facebook that even if it's determined law enforcement shot her grandson, she does not believe they should be to blame, that it is their responsibility to save lives. Instead, she wrote, that quote, fault lies in Child Protective Services of Montgomery County and Harris County that refused to remove custody from a woman with no mental illness that was not being treated and with the state of Texas for not having strong red flag laws. Now, ABC 13 found Moreno does have a lengthy criminal history in 2022. She was charged with illegally carrying two guns. Those weapons were destroyed, but we also found that she was able to legally obtain at least one other firearm this December, live at Lakewood Church, Shannon Ryan, 